Hey everyone, it's Akriti Sachdev and in this video I'm going to show you how to achieve a turquoise blue smoky eye. Um, unlike the usual smoky eye, it's basically a horizontal smoky eye wherein the blue, the turquoise blue is on my eyelid and above that is the smokiness. So I've applied the black eye shadow above it rather than to the side. It's just a different look and it works beautifully especially for those of you all who have small eyes and you want to make them bigger. It works really well for that. And I've had a lot of effort shooting this video because I, uh, <laughs> it's 12 midnight and I woke up my sister and I'm like, please, please shoot a video. It's been ages and I just spontaneously decided to shoot this video. So yeah, she's the one recording this. So thank you, Anushka. For most of the video, I've used one eyeshadow palette, which is the 88 Coastal Sense palette. This is the one I ordered on Amazon. And if you notice with matte palettes, your eyeshadow looks a lot more smoother. The texture is extremely smooth, unlike the ones where you've got shimmer. So using the Kohl pencil, I'm going to draw an arch right above my crease. Crease is also known as the socket. It's where your eye folds. That area is called your crease. So you're just going to draw a stark line. Don't worry, we're going to be smudging this. So you can go ahead and draw it out. Using a smudge brush, also known as a pencil brush, which is slightly rounded at the tip, you're going to be smudging this arch so that it softens and at the same time gives a lot of depth. Right now it was way too harsh, so you're just softening it, removing any harsh lines so that it's nice and smooth. Now with the super cool Coastal Sense Matte Palette, take a lighter brown with the same smudge brush. That's my sister making fun of me. And you're just going to soften the harsh edges because if you just keep it as it is, if it's black, it's going to look like you've been punched. You really want to soften it, especially for Indian skin. You want that warmth to come in. Now to create a sharp edge, we're using an angular brush and dipping it into the black eyeshadow from the same palette. You can of course use any black eyeshadow. And we are basically drawing a line, another arch, a much thinner arch right above your crease. So this way you're starting with a dark edge on the crease line and it's diffusing into softer shades right above. That being said, you want to go back to your smudge brush and soften the edge a little bit so that it's there at the same time it's not too harsh. Now apply the two-way gel which acts as a base for your eyeshadow. This is really easy to apply and it will make sure your eyeshadow doesn't crease, it stays put throughout the day and your colour will be much more vibrant with the base on. You need to blend it with your ring finger on your bare lids and get ready for the next step. Next I used Vidya Thikari's lip brush which I picked up from Delhi and pack this on to the ink blue colour from the palette and you're just gonna dab off. Remember guys with eyeshadows it's always important to dab off before you apply. I'm just going to pack this on my eye. The reason why I've used a lip brush is because it's nice and small. You don't want to apply this on your crease because your crease already has all the smokiness. You do not want to disturb it. And it goes to show that, you know, brushes are versatile. Just because it's a lip brush, it doesn't mean you can't apply it on your eyes. Provided that it's clean. You can't apply lipstick all over. But as long as it's clean, you can use it for different parts of your face. Okay, at this point I realized both my eyeshadows were different. I had forgotten that I had already put a green shade and mixed it with the blue. <laughs> so I'm going ahead and applying the green shade over the blue to make it turquoise. I had actually started off with the blue smoky eye but um, in the process I had mixed in a bit of green and it became turquoise. So I had to change the title to turquoise horizontal smoky eye. Now we're using a fluffy blending brush to reapply the black eyeshadow that might have faded. So go back to your palette. <laughs> Whoops, and take the black eyeshadow using the fluffy brush, which is right there. Trust me, I've had to edit this video a lot. So go back to your black eyeshadow and you're just going to apply this on your crease. This is again to make sure your eyeshadow is blended. That's the key to any eye makeup. Using your little finger or pinky finger, use a beige whitish shade. And you're going to apply this eyeshadow right below your arch on your brow bone. This is so that your eye gets highlighted. Your brow bone stands out especially in pictures. It looks beautiful. I'll take a earbud and dab this into a silver shimmer glitter. I'm using Benefit's Lust Duster which I picked up last year. 
but unfortunately it's not available anymore. It's a limited edition, but you can use any silver shimmer. Stamp this on the inner V of your eyes by opening your eyes. Make sure you don't close your eyes and apply this. It'll go all over the place and shimmer all over does not look nice. This step is optional guys. You don't have to do it. It's really up to you whether you like this look or you don't. Now for your lower lashes, use a black kajal and apply this on your inner rim. Make sure it's nice and dark because you are going to be smoking this out. Now here you go. Take a smudge brush, the same brush we used earlier. Dab it on to a black eye shadow. You can also use brown. It's optional. And you're going to go back and forth so that this will bring out your smoky eyes. This will really open it up. Now for my eyeliner, I've decided to go for a gel liner, a nice defined eyeliner and I'm going to be using this, believe it or not, a paintbrush, Faber Castle 00. It works beautifully and gives a flawless finish using a paintbrush. You guys should totally try this out. Because the paintbrush is extremely thin, the tip is so thin that you can make it thin, you can make it thick, whatever you want. So I'm starting from the inner corner. You can even start from the middle, it's up to you, depending on how good you are at this. If you're a beginner, start from the middle. And you're just going to join it all the way through till the end. Now to lift your eyes, we're going to draw a flick. So you just want to stretch the skin near your eyes and flick the brush outwards. Okay, now you must be thinking, not again, not another brush. But you have to use a clean fluffy brush once again and dab this onto a skin tone color. Okay, an eyeshadow which is closest to your skin tone or even a compact powder. Remove the excess. Finally, soften the edges and erase the extra black eye shadow that might overpower your look. So you're going to go blend back and forth so that the skin color neutralizes and it looks subtle. Now curl your lashes with an eyelash curler and squeeze and release for about 10 to 15 seconds. Next, I'm using the Lakme Iconic Mascara, which has a super cool curved wand, which will really lift up your lashes and separate them. And when you apply this, when you wiggle from side to side, it really won't clump your lashes together, which is great. It's really going to spread them out like a fan and it's going to look fantastic. Once that's dry, look down and dab it on your lower lashes using a very gentle hand. So this is my final look. Like the video if you thought it was useful and subscribe to my YouTube channel Akriti Sachseev. Thanks for watching. Bye.